Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to shorten a throttle cable. On this engine, the cable is a couple millimeters long. Uh, right here, I'm giving it full throttle with the lever throttle that it's attached to on the bicycle's handlebar, where it should be going to all the way down there. So, you've got to uh, shorten it up by a couple millimeters. And as you see here, it's it's loose, and this can sometimes be adjusted by the cable adjuster, but not on this particular engine, only to a certain extent. So, it's going to clip that off by a couple millimeters and solder up a new nipple um, at the end using a solder pot. So, I'll show you how we do that. Okay, what you got here is um, our solder pot, our throttle cable fittings flux and I trim the cable to the proper length. Um, as far as throttle cable fittings go, this these are the uh, this is called a, a, a nipple, which will is the proper size for the, this carburetor, these small engines. Finding your proper size throttle cable fitting can sometimes be a challenge. You're gonna have to search the web for throttle cable fittings and um, sometimes you might have to use an oversized one and file or grind it down. Uh, but this is the proper size one for this throttle cable. This solder pot here has been used many times, so there's still solder in it. I'm not sure how you, well you can see that. First thing you're going to have to do is go ahead and turn that on. It's going to take about five or seven minutes to warm up. And you still, as you can see here, it's a little bit dirty in there. There's flux that's on there from the previous shoe. So as soon as that heats up, we can spoon that out and then uh, we'll start with some fresh solder. Uh, the solder can be reused over and over. Okay, as the solder pot is heating up, go ahead and prepare my uh, throttle cable. This is just a regular lead-free uh, lead tinning flux. Uh, you will need flux for this project. Okay, so Again, with these nipples, these are so tiny, they're very e easy to lose. Keep them in a, a, a plate. You might have to buy some extras because once you drop them, they're pretty hard to find. So, you can take out your nipple. And simply going to slide it over your throttle cable. Okay. Now right there it'll just fall off so the first thing you should do is once you get it slid over your cable go ahead and crimp the end a little bit with your pliers okay so get it frayed a little bit that's gonna help the flux stick to the cable and now if you turn it off it's over it's not gonna fall off so what you want to do is really Load that up with flux. Get it nice and wet with the flux on the cable. Then you're going to pull your cable all the way down, almost down to the end. You want to leave a tiny bit sticking out at the end. And then you're going to dip the whole thing in flux. Load it up. I found it works best like this might get a little dirty but we clean it up at the end to file it off so what you see there is what we're going to be dipping in the solder pot and when we dip it in the solder pot it's going to simply simply dip it in straight like that hold it for about 10 seconds bring it out and that's really it let it cool and then we'll have to file it down so that's really how it, easy it is to prepare it now remember you can always just don't cut it too short uh, you can always, uh, you can't add length if you cut it too long. You'd rather be a tiny bit longer than a tiny bit shorter. So just make your uh, cut carefully. Okay, you can see here that the solder pot is um, pretty much ready to go. You can see it's okay. You can now you see that the black stuff on the top is the flux from the previous. Um, I used it so usually what I just do is go ahead and spoon out this junk and again this this solder has been used over and over it's running a little bit low here but I still have plenty left for this okay so what you see in there is it's all pretty clean 
really wouldn't matter if you didn't take that flux out. It just doesn't smoke as much. So now, I'm going to take our cable that we've already dipped in the flux. Let's give it another little touch here. And I'm simply going to uh, stick it in, hold it steady for about 10 seconds, and then bring it out. And it's going to smoke, you'll see. The, the smoke is just from the flux. Okay, I don't want to submerge it too much onto the cable because if you get it on the cable, it makes the cable stiff and you, you do want the cable to be flexible. So that's about enough time there. So, <clears throat> you see that there? You can see a little cable sticking out at the end. That's, that, that's exactly what I wanted. And uh, I'm going to file that down a little bit clean that up and show you how that looks. Go ahead and turn off your solder pot. Let that cool and just be careful with this. Okay, I just went ahead and filed down and cleaned up the end of the uh, cable there. Uh, there's a little sticking out at the end, just filed that down, but um, it's nice and secure. So we'll go ahead and put that back in the engine. Okay, you got the throttle cable installed onto the engine. And as you see here, as I pull it, there's no slack. It's a nice snug fit. That's exactly what you want. And as I apply throttle here, full throttle, it's going through the full range. So there you go. Just shortened up that cable. Time to go for a ride.